You have to pay about a hundred dollars for that. How was the meal? How did you guys like it? Delicious, Delicious fantastic. Amazing, man. Is it the first time you've been here or? Oh no, I come here all the time. Best steak in the city. <laughs> all right, for sure. What's up guys? Welcome back to Live Travel Asia where we show you what it's like living and traveling in Asia. Right now I'm in front of Kokote. I, I really don't know how to pronounce it. It's Kokote if it was American, Kokote if it was British, or Kokote if it was Italian, or Kokote if it was French. I have absolutely no idea but it is a fancy restaurant out here and I'm here to splurge on New Year's Eve. It's a bit more on the pricier side, but we're able to secure like a crazy coupon that's gonna allow us to uh, have a decent chunk of our bill taken care of. so much to choose from, I don't even know what to go for. Machek here checked out the menu before he came here, so he, he's not as lost as we are. You're with a smart man. <laughs> Alright guys, if you're lost, just focus on the little black areas. These are their signature dishes. We ended up going with the baby chicken and the Wagyu oyster blade, however, because they just seem like the best value. What wine did you get? Is that a Merlot? It's the, um, it's a Malbec. We've opted for fancy water, or Namplau, as they say over here. Do you like the wine? Oh, by the way, introduce your beautiful girlfriend. Amala. Pamela. 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 Mayu? We get to look at two beautiful women. Look at this little pouch they give you the bread in. I mean, that's pretty gimmicky, but this butter looks really legit. I can see like things in there. It's soft. If it's more bread, I'm going to give you more credit, but it's very cool. So this tomahawk steak is their signature, signature, signature steak. Uh, we didn't get it though, because it's like the most expensive. <laughs> but boy, does it look worth it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna like sprinkle some salt on it. Ooh, you got lamb chops. Ooh, that looks amazing. The food's so good, it even turned Machek into a foodie grammar. Hey Machek, what's your impression so far? Marvin was great. I knew it was going to be good. Yeah? Oh, Machek is just coming from Chicago though, where they actually have pretty legit steaks, so... <laughs> he's, he's pretty impressed. Um, what about the lamb chops? It was amazing. Really? Can you describe it? Yeah. Indescribable. <laughs> Ooh, look at that Wagyu Australian. Oh, how do you like it? Uh huh. Juicy. Yeah, so Mayu got the Sichuan pepper sauce, and this is a tamarind chili sauce that we got for the chicken. So you get to get one sauce, but Mayu just likes it straight. This is their signature mashed potato side. I will have to complain though, be honest, and say this is this is quite small. I expected it to be a bit more, but have you tried it? American yeah, I mean, mashed potatoes, I'm thinking American, but that's, I don't know. This is what you pay for. It's, it's, it's starting to feel more like this is a French restaurant. Gosh, it's like, in like some kind of grass. <laughs> it's so fancy. Oh my gosh. 
This chicken is super tender. I feel like I should eat it with a knife, but I'm just gonna keep it real, you know? Just to let you know, I'm actually not a huge fan of chicken in general, but there's so much flavor to this chicken. This is not just like any ordinary chicken. This tamarind chili sauce is what they recommended. Oh. Oh my god. I don't know, you're coming to a Wagyu steakhouse. It probably might be a sin to order the chicken, but this might be the best chicken I've ever had. I'm not a huge fan of chicken, but this is legit. It, it, nothing tastes artificial about it. It's been like wandering around in the best pastures of Thailand. This is legit chicken. Now, I'm gonna try a bit of this steak here. To put it into context, this steak actually was sitting out for about 10 minutes because we were taking so much time taking establishing shots, selfies, that I didn't expect it to taste that great. But even with it having cooled down, it's so good. You, you get that really um, burnt, charred uh, flavor on the outside. It's not a smoke flavor, but it's just charred enough to give it that flamey, fiery taste. And, you know, as far as the steak itself, you really can't complain. It's top notch. Uh, I mean, I did say that the best steak I had out here was at Nary Farm, but this definitely is better. It's twice the price, but I would say it's worth twice as much. You definitely get that more refined, raw, like, beef taste out here. I, I think the one at uh, Dairy Farm was a bit too creamy. You couldn't really taste the meat as much. It was, it was too tender, but this is the perfect consistency. You, you guys are just gonna have to try it out yourself. Why are you saying these are French muffins? It looks like bread in the middle. Whoa! Is this is this the famous uh, olive oil that you're raving That's about? That's the olive oil. That's the herb. What? What is that? It's the herb that helps you digest after you eat a lot of meat. Oh! He's um, super health conscious. Ex vegan and 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 I, I think you would claim that you're even healthier now. <laughs> you evolved from vegan. Um, but yeah, he knows all this stuff about food. I have no idea what this is. We'll, we'll go ahead and try it out. Yeah. Open it, babe. It's like opening a Christmas present. Hey, how do you like the smell? Is it like a Chinese herbal smell or like a basil smell? 40% smell like Chinese herbal. <laughs> okay, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs> the herbs make it awful. Oh. All right, so we are waiting for the bill. Quite nervous about it. Don't know how much the damage is. Machek is maybe a little bit more worried because he's flipping the bill for two people here. One thousand, I guess. <laughs> You're lucky. Oh my gosh. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so my little mocktail cost about six bucks. We had the chicken, which cost about 20. The steak was about 30. Water was $2. And the mashed potatoes was about $5. All together, it comes out to be about $60. Service charge, etc. tips. That's another $10, $15, but we got 500 baht off. I was honestly budgeting to only eat two dishes. So it was supposed to be about 1,500 and then we would get 500 off and I was expecting to pay like $20 each. 
but it's all right. It's all right. We got all the add-ons. It's about thirty dollars for each of us. Machek on his little American pay went a little bit more baller here. Like, what is that? Like forty bucks for the lamb chops? Close to seventy for his steak. But yeah, you only have one, one year, one year, one year. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> How do you say Happy New Year's in Thai? Sawadee Mai. Sawadee Mai. Mai. Now pay the bill. I get to enjoy another two hours. Steak is digest. Right, so they're sending us off with a New Year's present. Aww. This is all nice. New Year's is when you should come here, and you also get the 500 baht off. Yay! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Year. <laughs> Alright guys, we finished eating here. It's 10 o'clock now. <laughs> we have no idea what we're going to do for New Year's, because it's probably going to be packed everywhere. Our plan is to head over to M Quartier, because it's right next to here, and just get a reality check how crowded it is. Alright guys, it's the zoo. We got a reality check. It's, it's crowded. Crazy. Um, we let the girls drive here on the motorcycle and we walked here, but we can't find them. Alright, we found them at Zara and now we're gonna head to the beer garden. Hoping it's a little bit more chill because upstairs super loud but it's very typical Thai New Year's it's you're gonna have your eardrums like blown out if you're sitting out there too long ah, so expected it's really crowded there's no seats for us there's one place back there but they're charging a thousand baht per person which is just like way overpriced so we're gonna try to find a seat inside or something. Mache, confirm with me that this uh, video was not sponsored by Coco. Uh, was it? <laughs> no, guys. Somehow we ended up at another Coco. Apparently, this is a cafe that is uh, called Moksa. Literally right next to the action, but it's inside, so it's not as loud. Do you think you wanna be out there? No. No, this is good, right? What about you, Mayu? I'm up to be inside. I definitely hope Mayu likes it here. <laughs> she, I, I could tell, like, she wants to not sound downer, but then when I keep saying, hey, let's sit down, she's like, no, 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 no. I want to go home. Inside, huh? Mm. <laughs> How do I make Matt? Bartenders are having New Year's party. <laughs> I gotta work here. So guys, how do you like New Year's at M Quartier? It's been happy. Not too bad. I think we enjoyed it because it wasn't too crowded, too hectic. Um, Amala didn't have to walk around in her high heels. Mayu, did you enjoy this year's New Year? or last year's New Year at the beer garden? It's a different feeling. I feel more like socialized with people here. 
Oh yeah. yeah. Last year it felt very local because yeah, yeah. remember there was a local Thai singer and then we were listening to Thai music, yeah. And then we were surrounded by Korean tourists. <laughs> yeah. But what made this year special was you guys. Oh, we're with family. Well, not family, but friends. Friends. Now we're family. We're Bangkok family now. So hopefully next year we'll have even a bigger Bangkok family. More of you guys will come out here and join us for New Year's. If you do, you definitely gotta hit us up. And uh, Click the bell button because you need the notifications whenever we have a new video. As we do two videos a week. And we do live streams too. And, and we do live streams. Just like today when we live streamed the New Year countdown. So those don't stay up there. We definitely take them down after a day. So make sure you have that bell notification. And whatever the case, I'll see you guys next week for more vlogs about living and traveling in Asia. Happy New Year! Thanks again guys for checking out our video and if this is your first time seeing us head over to our channel Live Travel Asia to see the wide variety of content we offer from our standard Live in Bangkok vlogs to our in-depth discussion videos about life in Thailand. You can also check out our new dedicated travel channel Traveling Asia for our international travel series and our gaming channel Live Game Asia if you're just as much of a dork as we are or just want to chat with us on our live stream. Whatever the case I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you guys next week for more vlogs about living and traveling in Asia. <laughs>
Hey, caught. <laughs>